But the more shots they get up, obviously the more points they're going to be able to score. And we said 90 points per game, eighth in the nation. Burks misses a three. And all of a sudden, Xavier is running, and Marshall, who had the best game of his career on Saturday, drains a three. And here comes Xavier, 13-0 run for the Musketeers. Good and spinning, and he scores over Penova. Quinton Gooden. If you take away the foul, that wasn't called. Gooden spins in, pass loose, picked up in Jones. Not only are they getting points in the paint, they're getting points right underneath the bucket. Quinton Gooden's defense on him has been so good, he hasn't been able to turn the corner. And a steal by Elmore. Blew it. Chasing, fouling, count it. It's a trip on Blewett. And all of a sudden, John Elmore and Marshall have life. Sometimes, you know, I can't lawyering can do things to you. <laughs> oh, Tyreek Jones with two hands. Xavier continues to execute offensively. You know, more times than not, they're going to have some kind of success. A bucket or get to the free throw line. Cantor left open, missed the three. Jones the rebound. And he's See, that time Irvich didn't assert his big body, allowed Jones to take over. You know, with hot shooting and outscored Toledo, I think it was 14 nothing down the stretch to wind up with a win on the road. Good screen, great finish. That's John Elmore at his best. And the crowd grows uneasy here, 10,000. And Cincinnati couldn't with the left hand. And there's an advantage right there, not only the quickness, but the upper body strength. So getting a gallon of salsa. There's Cantor, no one on him. Finger roll and the block and the bucket. Cantor was stunned when he looked up and saw nobody in front of him in the basket. Good fundamentals. He went straight to the basket and just a little bit of a lean. You see that lean and the sliding of your feet. You're not in legal guarding position. It's kind of hurt Marshall here in the last couple of minutes. Quick shots. Guys aren't in position. You haven't really put pressure on the Xavier defense. Blewett whips it to Cantor. Missed the three, and here comes Marshall. This is Burks. Goes yes. for the three. Hits the three. And how about Marshall? Within seven with a minute 25 left. Maybe the habits haven't bitten you. And Marshall running out of time. Another three, and this is good. And that's C.J. Burks. Well, you really have to hand it to Marshall. They have uh, made it interesting here. Half a minute left. Elmore now to inbound it. They'll get it right back to him. Driving to the bucket, looking for contact. Kicks it. Good ball fake. Three on the way. Got it! It's Burks who hits a three. Did I say something about a miracle? A couple. And Marshall oh, is within five. 21 oh, seconds oh, left, yeah. and Chris Mack can't believe it. He calls timeout. He's furious right now. And just weren't able to close the door. And Marshall ah! feel good about themselves if there's such a thing as a moral victory. Elmore's three is good, and what looked like a 23-point blowout ends up as a four-point win for number nine, Xavier. First off, Chris, so what's the condition of a guy like Najee Marshall and, and the other guys, Makura and Gates? Who knows at this Thank point? You, you know, I'm just glad the medical staff has given me some players to work with at this point. Oh, that was a, a tough way to finish it out, although you guys a 23-point lead. But again, you know, you guys still had the resilience inside. Your big guys came up big. I mean, it's tough. You know, we've got, we've got three big guys. We're trying to play for a total of 40 minutes. You know, rotations are completely different with three guys out, three main, three main guys. But, you know, I'm proud of our group for being able to stick with it. Uh, Marshall's got a really talented offensive team. Ran out of a little bit of gas. The ball wouldn't go in for our best player but um, we'll take the win. Well, how important was coming from behind against East Tennessee? Did that have any impact on the mentality in this game? I might have, especially coming into the game. I thought our guys were amped to play. I thought they were ready to play. And uh, I thought we did a really good job to hold those guys to 27 points at halftime. Um, we just had to be a little bit better on the offensive end in the second half, but we'll get back to work tomorrow. All right, you got Northern Iowa coming up. 
you know, hopefully, obviously, your bench can round out and you'll have the full complement of guys. But what would you expect going forward? Well, we know Northern Iowa has a tremendous program. I mean, Coach Jacobson does an amazing job. Played those guys in wars last year, two of them. So we're going to have to prepare for a very tough environment, a team that prides himself on the defensive end, and hopefully we get a little healed up for Friday. Well, congratulations on this one, and uh, good luck going forward. Thanks, Len. Rob, back to you.